salsa. Just like this, just around the edges. Come through, flavor that up a little, and we open it up. Just like that. Beautiful. Come through with a little cheese, cheddar, and come around. We're gonna let that melt on the edges just a little bit, just enough to be able to help us get these nicely stuck together. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab some chorizo flavored beans, refried beans that is. You can see that beautiful chorizo color on there. And we're gonna spread it out, just like this. And come one more time with a tiny bit of cheddar. It's gonna give it a nice little melt. Second tortilla, do a nice dip into our guacamole salsa and cover that up. Make a little space here. We're gonna crack an egg right in the center. A little salt and pepper. Got some bacon strips, just like this. Some jalapenos all the way around the tortilla. Grab a second one, a third one, that is, sorry. Third little tortilla. Cover that up. Now, as the cheese is slowly melting, we're gonna go ahead and grab that excess and just flip it on top, like this. Get that closed in. And we have some Tex-Mex seasoned panko guys, right here that we're gonna add on the cheese, like this. We're gonna flip it, get the other side covered as well. All the way around on the cheese that's there. There you go. Chillas come underneath and bring it into our hot oil right this way. Slowly, gently. Come back around and with the help of a ladle, make our bowl shape just like this. Nice. We're going to go ahead and grab this glass right over here, place it on here, and go ahead and remove this carefully, get that excess oil out. We're going to put it on top to get an even better shape, here we go, give that just a little bit, nice, beautiful color, Let's go ahead and form it nicely, here we go. One, right this way. And here we are, fully loaded Taco Bell. Just like that. Check this out. Works like a doll. Let's go ahead and place it on here. We have our chorizo right here that we just brought out. You can still see it steaming. Like beaming. Put it in there. Beautiful. Got some veggies. Onions, bell peppers some fresh guacamole, just like this. Let's be generous with it. Beautiful, look at that, guys. Little sour cream, just a nice little dollop. And some freshly chopped chives. All the way around. Beautiful, now all you have to do is try this at home, send us a picture, and enjoy. Giant tortillas here, and we're just gonna dip them gently in that beef fat that's settled on the top there and we're going to paint our plancha with that same beef fat lay that down our cheddar cheese and we're just going to go in a nice even layer around the edge here and that's going to create a cheddar cheese crust make sure you overlap it just a little and now we're going to take our refried beans we're going to go right in the center here nice layer 
smooth that out. And now we've got our other tortilla and that's gonna go right over the top. Press it down just a little bit and we're gonna let that cheddar cheese crisp up to create a nice crust. Right, we've got our crispy cheese crust on the exterior of our tortilla and we're gonna flip that. And now we're gonna add more cheese right in the center here. Some zesty cilantro rice and that's gonna go over the cheese. We're just gonna spread that out. And now we've got the burilla beef and I've got four pairs of gloves on so this doesn't burn me guys because this is really 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 hot fresh tomatoes give some nice acidity some nice sweetness we've got red onions that's going to give it a nice little crunch and a nice little pop and now we've got our sour cream and we're just going to go in a nice spiral fashion over the top and gently remove it right onto our platter here look at that beautiful mexican pizza and now we're gonna go on to our next step. We've got our roasted, de-seeded jalapenos here. I like to leave a few of the seeds in. Put our shredded cheddar in here. Now we're just gonna mix this up. We're gonna take our jalapenos and we're gonna stuff them. A couple of spoonfuls. And we're gonna place our peppers right in our flour mixture. And now we're just gonna rotate them and get them fully coated. We're gonna gently lift them up we go into our batter here, which is just eggs, flour, and salt. And gently lower them into our oil here. Just 350 degree oil. And just kind of swirl them around a little bit. Into our hot oil. Swirl them around a little bit. Get these crispy rellenos filled with cheese. They're nice and golden brown. And we're going to take it on to our next step. We have our Mexican pizza here and our crispy huevos rellenos. And we're just going to place these around the perimeter. Final chili rellenos. Guys, some simple chef club tips. Number one, instead of beef, you can use pork, chicken, or goat, whatever meat is available. Number two, you can use poblanos or Anaheim peppers to make them bigger and easier to stuff. And number three, you can use refried beans. Put it onto our steak. And then gently flip it onto one side, like that. Flip this over onto our cutting board. Gonna add some nice chimichurri. Beautiful. I'm gonna let this cool down and I'm gonna come to my beers. We're gonna put this into our ice. Beautiful. While that goes in, I'm going to slowly put this into my freezer. Now we have our meat here and I'm going to gently roll. Get all of that juice in there. Bring it into our cocktail shaker. Close that. Bring it into our oven. Let this cook for 15 to 20 minutes. You guys can keep it longer if you'd like. I'm gonna get my dough here for my beautiful tortillas. I've got sun-dried tomato in one of the doughs, which is why it's orange, and some fresh herbs and garlic in the other one. I'm gonna cut through one more time. We're gonna start shaping our leaves. Put them onto our plate and slowly onto our spoons. Now that these are out of the oil, I'm going to put them onto my plate. and we're ready for our next step. I've got my final platter of tortillas. I'm gonna add my meat right into the center. Beautiful. I've got my chimichurri, I'm gonna add on top. I've got my pickled red onions. I 
I've got some fresh parsley. I'm just going to sprinkle for some extra color. A few limes. I'm going to add some limes. There you go. 